How's it going, y'all? My name is Spider, and recently BSG released some photos of the Steyr AUG, and I just wanted to supply some real-world information about the rifle, as well as some theories of what might come to the game. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so to start off with, I have some basic info about the Steyr AUG. It was developed in the 1970s in Austria to replace the SA-58, and it's a rifle in bullpup configuration, meaning the action is located behind the trigger. It's chambered in 556 by 45 NATO and uses these unique translucent waffle pattern magazines. The fire rate's approximately 680 to 750 rounds per minute and it uses a gas piston system. Now for this next section, I just want to talk about the variants of the AUG. Now there's quite a few variants, but I've just chosen the main ones that we're most likely to see in Escape from Tarkov. Okay, to start off with, we have the AUG A1. And it's actually the one BSG posted, it's the top one in the picture. So it has an integrated one and a half times optic into the carry handle, as well as iron sights integrated onto that optic on top. The reticle for the optic is the donut of death, and it's just a small circle in the middle. And there's no Picatinny rails or anything like that in this version. The AUG A2 isn't much different to the A1. Notably, the one and a half times optic is mounted to a 1913 Picatinny rail, and can be detached. The next variant is the AUG A3. This one features a low mount 1913 Picatinny rail, but can also have a one and a half or three times integrated optic with a Picatinny rail on top. This is the one BSG showcased on the Twitter. It's the bottom one in the picture. The AUG H-Bar, or heavy barreled automatic rifle, can be configured to fire from the open bolt for cooling purposes and also includes a four times optic. This was meant to be a light machine gun. The submachine gun variant, the AUG Para, is chambered in 9x19 Parabellum and features a shortened barrel. It operates by direct blowback and includes a magazine well adapter to allow it to use 25 round TMP magazines. The TMP was the predecessor to the MP9, so maybe we'll be able to use the MP9 mags. The next variant is the AUG NATO. This version uses Stanag pattern magazines, so that's all your HK and M4 style mags. Interestingly enough, the AUG NATO does not feature a bolt release in the rear of the rifle. You must use the charging handle. The final variant I have is the F90. Now this is the Australian military version. It features enhanced ergonomics and better cooling. It also has added Picatinny rails for optics, foregrips, and tactical devices like lasers and flashlights. Now for some extra info that I've gathered about the Steyr AUG. The waffle magazines come in 10, 30, and 42 round capacities. Although a feature we may not see in game, but the trigger on the AUG is progressive, meaning a half pull is a single shot and a full pull is full auto. There is no selector switch. The suppressor BSG posted appears to be the T4 AUG Ranger Reflex Suppressor. A reflex suppressor is one that extends backwards over the barrel, reducing the overall length the suppressor adds to the rifle. There is also a longer version called the T8 AUG Scout. Another really cool feature of the AUG is the quick change barrel system. You can quickly remove and install a new barrel without the use of any tools. So maybe we'll be able to modify the barrels in RAID. Currently the AUG is offered in four different colors. Tan, olive, white, and black. Some possible mods we could do to the AUG would be to change out the barrel from 350 millimeter, 407 millimeter, 508 millimeter, and 621 millimeter. The AUG Para uses a 420 millimeter barrel. Currently, Steyr Arms sells a few enhanced parts designed by Corvus Defenso on their website. These include enhanced charging handles, magazine releases, and handguards. So maybe we'll see some of those in Tarkov. And that's about all the info I have on the Steyr AUG. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching the video. And if you have any questions, whether Tarkov or firearm related, please leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.